game, ABS oh. Stadium. What's up, man? Let's go! Get it again with another episode of Lion City Sailors Adventure Vlogs. This is episode 3 guys of yeah. Lion City Sailors Adventure Vlogs Season 2. Let's go. Surprise! We're going up against, we're going up against Tampanese today. It's going to be a very difficult game. So, uh, let's hope we can come out on top today and uh, yeah, Safe we can... But before we get into the stadium, <laughs> surprise! Once again, I said in the previous episode that I wouldn't make it but here I am. Yes. I made it. I got my off. Luckily, Ben's back here today again. Yeah, so now that I'm here, we got another episode. And before we get into the stadium, let's get to the predictions first. And we'll get to our others very soon. If you've seen the intro, then you know what I'm talking about. Okay, Ethan, first and foremost, thoughts before the game. <laughs> right, uh, I think it's going to be a very difficult game. It's uh, Tampanese. Uh, we have, uh, the last time we I seen them play is in the Champions League, you know. Uh, I mean, uh, it wasn't very successful for them, and uh, but I've seen that in some of the games they have uh, put up quite a uh, close fight against uh, the teams of against the likes of uh, Gamba Osaka and Jombok. You know, uh, even though they may have lost nine 0 to Jombok at A one to Gamba Osaka, but I think uh, there was there was one meeting against Gamba. They only lost two 0 I think it was the first their first meeting, and uh, I think in, in that uh, game uh, they have already they've already shown us that they can um, match against the best and. Uh, I, I don't expect this to be very easy, uh, honestly. Although I although I hope we can win another, can win another, win them again six 0 like, <laughs> like the other, like the other AFC Champions League team. So six zero, yeah. uh? six zero. So yeah. that's your prediction, uh? No, no, no. I, I hope only. Okay. He asked me to be realistic about my prediction. I think okay. it's going to be. Uh, I think it could be three one to Sailors. I hope three one to Sailors. Okay. Uh, my thoughts ahead of the game, like I said uh, in the previous episodes. Hopefully, we can recover from the sudden sudden uh, bump oh yes I, I think we haven't re really been playing well you know the game against uh, Balestia we we weren't sharp enough honestly that's yeah. why uh, we couldn't really uh, we couldn't really break through the defense we need a penalty to equalize it yeah. so I think a lot more has to be done for the sailor side today and uh, Tepanis, they of course they just came back out of quarantine trained a few sessions and uh, let's hope that uh, they'll be a little bit rusty today and uh, we can take advantage of that and uh, and get away with the three points. Yes, and before we actually go ahead with the, uh, before we go ahead to the stadium again, I don't know why I always say this. I'm, I'm just a bit, I don't know. Like I, I'm, I'm still a little bit inexperienced of doing this vlog, so hope you all don't mind. Okay, so yeah, I agree with you. They are rusty, and hopefully we can take the advantage. But also, we have to keep in mind that we are currently on a roadblock of no wins, but still no loss. But draws is not enough. About how rusty we don't know. Yeah, it's a very, very unpredictable game actually today. Yeah. Because uh, we haven't seen Tampanese for quite a while in the SPL. They play in the Champions League and even then it's been a lot of, a few a couple of weeks already, you know. It's uh, they played in uh, July and then now it's already mid August so uh let's hope they are very very rusty today. Let's yeah, say that's yeah, yeah. Hey, I I don't I don't want to wish any bad luck but we I really hope they'll be rusty for us to get the advantage, get inside the game, take the three points and uh, keep the Elbrex on bay from getting away from us so we still have that one game in hand now make it two because we haven't played this game yet so hopefully we take the advantage get the three points take the win and then we go ahead and take the top of the table on the game in hand yeah, so yeah absolutely we are six points behind Albrex and uh, any slip up today uh, will be either six, still six points behind Albrex or or if we draw it will be five points that's a lot of, lot of points so we want to win this game take the maximum number of points and uh, yeah and we still have one more game against Albrex so uh, we have that is probably going to be a title decider already because uh, we've drawn twice against them and whoever comes out on top against uh, 
in Sailors against Albrex in September. Almost that will probably be the now. yeah. That will probably be the the decider. But first, but first and foremost, let's focus on this game against Tampines. Mm. Get the three points, and then we'll go celebrating today. Yeah. All hands on deck. My prediction: two, one. Let's go. All hands, All on, hands deck, on deck. Let's go. And uh, okay, it's a little bit too far, but we made it. We made it to Jalan Besar Stadium. It's so long, man. Since coming to Jalan Besar. Yeah, so man. Long. Now the question is, where's Eddie? There you are, Eddie. And first appearance for Wen Ting. Nice. And like I said, we made it to Jalan Besar Stadium. And um, we are stacking up. We are stacking up on attendance. So Ethan predicted three, one. Let's get to the let's get to the other auctions. Okay, no, prediction. I think two zero. Two zero. Okay. Eddie, prediction. Uh, three zero. Three zero. Okay. So everyone over is gonna get the victory. So. Let's hope we take the W. Man, I'm excited. Man, I'm excited. And how could we forget Jerome and his crew from SG Football Podcast. How are you all doing? Good, good. Very good, man. Good to see you as well. Okay, as always, before the match. Yep. Match prediction. What's the score? 2-1 LCS. Ooh, how are you? I think 2-0 I think LCS. Alright, yeah. nice. Before we go ahead, are you going to do another fan cam? Yep, we will, of course. I'm doing a match day vlog also, so I'll keep you up to date on that one as well. Alright, nice one. By the way, the fan cam, that's awesome. Oh, no I'm going to leave no the link in the description for you all to check it out. Nice. City Serious now, we let attack. Come on! Oh, it's a, it's a bit disappointing there. Huh? Can you defend like ACL or not? <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, here we go. Oh, no. And clearance. Easily back to us. Let's go, sailors! Let's go! Let's go, sailors! Let's go! Let's go sailors, let's go! Let's go sailors, let's go! Let's go sailors, let's go! Well, 10 minutes in, now going to be 11 minutes in. It's a very balanced game indeed. Some good passes. Um, so far, there's not much. Yes. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's our fortune. So, um, there isn't any shots at the moment. But once there's one, I think that's where everything can start to kick in. And speaking of kicking in, that's a foul. And it's gonna be a Tampines Rovers free kick. Yo, Ethan. 
the yellow lights are the yellow lights are making some noise right there. I only got one thing to say. What in the KTV? <laughs> anyway, Tavinis Rovers free kick. Yeah. Hui! Yeah. What is saved by Superman? It's gonna be Tavinis Rovers corner. Second corner, if I'm not mistaken. Hui! Hui! There was a poor header, but at the same time, at the same time, it, it is scary. My God! I mean, it's offside, so he deliberately, he deliberately missed that. My God, what a shot there! What a good save, though. All right, what a break. Um, Jerome, what do you think of the game? So far, so good. I think both teams, decent passing-wise, have been very good. Even just that last final third passing, I think, is a little lacking. Um, Tampani set up midfield, Kyoga and Zerudin, as usual, fantastic. Um, just need to play in Bosnia and uh, Morris a little bit. Mm -hmm. But so far, so good. How about the sailors? Sailors wise, no Adam again. Impressive on the left hand side. Passing has been really good. Um, I think communication between the back four has been decent. Aris Arun, especially to lead their back line, fantastic. I couldn't see Aris Arun back. Yeah. Um, still close. Too close to call at the moment, but good game so far. Yep, indeed. Just like the Elbrex against Light City Sailors, it's a very competitive game as we speak. Still nil nil. Anything can happen. Let's carry on with the first half after they finish uh, chugging their mouths with water. <laughs> what was that? Yes, no Adam! Oh my god, no Adam! Oh. Ooh! So close for his first goal, if I'm not mistaken. He, hey, has he scored has he scored his first goal for us? I, I don't remember. I, I can't remember also. But if he does score that one, it would be his first, I think. Snap! We're up for we are we're up for great drama right now. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, Ya Rabbil Alamin. Damn. Oh! First half, two sweet ass goals from Gabriel Quack and Stipe Plazibet. And you know, oh man, it's gonna be a little bit loud, but you know what time it is? It's time for halftime talk with Ethan Tan.
Hey, so, so, what do you think of the first half? What a fantastic first mm. half, man. We gave them a very good spanking as well. We are 2 0 up now. <laughs> you know, uh, I really love the bench. You know, now how we are just, how we are just trolling them for for losing to the Jombak 9 0 and uh, Gamba Osaka 8 1. You know, I, I I am seeing that they are very very rusty, as I said before the game, and uh, and then it just shows in the result. I'm really enjoying this uh, first. I'm really enjoying the first half, and uh, I hope I really enjoy the second half as equally or even more. You know, let's score, let's score some more goals. Indeed, indeed, indeed. So then, why we are more worthy of the AFC Champions League spot? You know. <laughs> yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Is that all you want to say? Yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, let's look at the second half, and uh, hopefully, we come away with the three points today. That's the most important. All right, nice one, Ethan. Wow, damn, I cannot, I cannot even do the woohoo already, sir. Shit. Yo, 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 Ethan, before we start the second half, take a look at this. We made it. We made it on TV. Woohoo! Leo, are you excited for the second half? Of course, man. Let's go. Let's get three points, man. Yeah, three freaking points. No. Hey! Oh, oh. let's go. <laughs> Let's go! My God! Hey, you know what time it is? It's only three days! It's only three days! It's like that John Book, you're losing three days! It's only three days! It's only three days! Just like Osaka, you're losing three days! My freaking God! Tiga kosong, 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 tiga kosong. One thing, I like how you don't have drums, but you still gonna bang it. Nice la. <laughs> A few moments later. It's only for nail. It's only for nail. It's only for nail. It's only for nail. My God. My God. My freaking. Scoring It's only for nail. I'm telling you, it's only for nail. And we just get it started. My. He's got 21. He's got 21. He's got 21. I tell you what, I feel like this is like a sweet revenge to our first game as Lion City Sailors against Tampines Rovers where well, we, we lost 4-0. And, and now we are 4-0. Yeah. Who knows, we might get 9. Oh my god. If we get 9, I'm gonna cry. We I'm really good. We won 9! We won 9! We won 9! <laughs> oh my god, oh my god! Mistake, mistake! Oh yeah. Oh. Guys, do you see where the ball went? I cannot see anymore. <laughs> <laughs> My God. What a... What, what kind of four minutes are we witnessing, man? Oh my God. We might get five. We might get five! 
Corner, corner! We've seen in the Champions League that they are, they are quite under pressure if they go 4 0 5 0 behind. And uh, I, I think it's going to be a very ugly result for Tempani. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be all fun from here, man. <laughs> It's 4-1. Tampani's got one back. So they have three goals to catch up with us. It's still called Gambao Saka, 8-1. Oh no. Scoring the first goal for Tampani's Rovers, number 9, Boris Kopitovic. Hey, Mr. Kopitovic. Big bad Boris. Big bad Boris. But he ain't bad after all. Only scored once. <laughs> this has given me yes! so much drama. Well, the players are taking their water breaks. Back to you, Jerome. Yes. What do you think of the current second half situation? Ooh, I did not expect. I don't know what Coach Kim told them in the second half, in the half time break, but wow. Um, just came out all firing and um, you know, deserved to get the 4 0 lead. But I mean, a bit of lapse of concentration conceding the first goal, but I think um, you know, at the end of the day, they should take this whole 20 minutes left. I think uh, it's all done and dusted. Right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's still 50-50. What are the odds of Tempanis making a comeback? With 20 minutes left, I pretty much slim to none, but they must get a goal within the next 5 minutes if they want to try and mount a comeback. I indeed, think that's indeed. So yes, uh, we'll get back to you after the game. When we're gonna get back to the second on, half. Let's go! Touch! Good job, Touch! No Adam! Hey! Tell you what, um, three minutes to go plus added time. Nothing much has happened except for a few saves from Superman, Hassan Sani. Um, uh, Ethan, we've been, we've been pretty relaxed you know, since the fourth goal. We've got two of the gas pedal and you know, um, yeah, yeah, we, we have been hardly attacking, you know, it's, it's all the all time finish for like the last few minutes. Yeah. And, uh, I hope we can still get one more goal, 5 1 tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the United against Leeds United, right? Yeah. Yeah. Indeed, yeah. We've been, we've, been, we've been very relaxed now, but. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Four minutes of added time. Book him, bruv! Book him! <coughs> book him, book him! Oh! Oh! Hey! Dominating win. Four goals to one. 
Hey, go ahead, Gia. Thanks, guys. See you guys. Yeah. Hey, Eddie. Good win. So, Ethan, what did you have the game? What a fantastic game. We gave them a good spanking, man. 4 1, guys. 4 1. That's so, all. More than what I expected. I bring the 3 1 only, you know? Yeah. yeah. Like I said, we ended the game dominating Japanese Rovers, dominating the stacks. Four goals to one. What a night! What a night! See, one more game has no the game against the game. Japanese Rovers! Hafez! Naira! Bari! Right. Alright. That, once again, is it? What a dominating win! Four goes to bloody one. Oh my god! Four one, man. Four one. Oh my god! Hey, bro, come here, come here, come here. Yeah. Uh, four one, man. Four one. Share, share, share. Tell them who are you. Tell them who are you. I'm, I'm just Lion City Sailors fans like everyone else. Yeah. Thoughts uh, of the game. Thoughts of the game. Oh, I think I think um, their number five, uh, Tempest Rovers by was really out of position. <laughs> so he he can't keep up the speed of CP strength of. CP. And uh, Gabriel Kong, especially. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. What's your opinion of Yasu? Uh, <laughs> I think uh, I reserve my opinion. If you ever play for Singapore, I'll cheers for him. <laughs> He's playing for opponent. <laughs> Alright, see you, bro. Yeah, see you, see you, see you. See you. See you. Yeah, oh my god. What a game. What a game. I'm right, back with Ethan again, man. My god, I'm so happy, man. Let's fucking go, lah. Now it's time to meet uh, Jerome and the SG Football Podcast. We're up for the fan camp, so we're gonna get to that, then we'll be back in action with the vlog. Right, here with the Yellow Knights. Great to have them at the Jalan Besar Stadium. What a game, what a game. Step on is till I die. Step <laughs> on is till I die. I know I am, I'm sure I am. That bird is still I die. Yeah. That bird is still I die. <laughs> that bird is still I die. I know I am, I'm sure I am. That bird is still I die. Oh, 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 o
Uh, what do you think of the game today? Hey, very good, very good. I thought it very well. We, we, we did what the coach wanted us to do. Very good. Mm. Nice, 100%, nice, 100%. nice. Bila nak go lagi ni? Insyaallah. <laughs> you know, Adam. A uh, moment with you, Jack. Okay, can. Okay. Uh, I'm here with No Adam. Sorry if the lighting's a little bit yeah. dark. Uh, we're just gonna talk, talk more about you. Um, how well do you think you have performed over the past three games? Well, it's a good performance, by obviously from me, I personally I feel. But then I could have contributed more to the team with a lot of assists for them, a lot of crosses for them. But then. The game that is quite different, you know. So uh, sometimes I can, you know, keep on pushing, yeah. attacking, and all. But then overall, it's uh, it's good because everyone is like praising me and all, which I'm happy to to hear from them, which give me motivation to push, you know, harder each day to perform at my best for the fans, for myself, for the coaches, for the club. Yeah, it is no secret that you you deserve to be a force to be reckoned with. So. Uh, well, I know you're, you're rushing at the moment right now, so we're gonna keep it short as much as, as I can. What do you got to say to all the Sailors fans who have been praising you, who have given you the confidence that you needed? Uh, first of all, it's thank you so much for supporting me and encouraging me, especially, you know, posting good things, positive things on social media about me and all, which actually makes me perform, which makes me perform better than before because, you know, uh, those those praises is like an intrinsic motivation for me to even push harder the next game and make them happy with uh, obviously three points, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Which I'm very happy for. You know, the fans coming down all the way from a uh, different area of Singapore, different yeah. part of Singapore, coming down to support us, uh, especially on the weekend where they, you know, might be having a lot of plans, but then they still come here to watch us, support us, which is I'm very happy and very thankful for them. Yep, yeah, uh, indeed. Uh, last but not least, I think I think you have said uh, you have said a good message regarding the people who only say that they supported they support local athletes, but they don't prove it. Um, you also you also have said how thankful you are to the local fans who have come down and um, sacrificed their time to support you guys. So, um, what can you say to the Singaporeans out there uh, about? You know, like what can you say yeah, about I mean, local football? Yeah, I mean, you know, a lot of uh, negative things. Uh, people are saying say that Singapore football is nowhere. You know, going nowhere and all. But you can see now it's going somewhere. Especially the league is actually having a lot of foreigners in the league makes the standard very high. Yeah. Which, first of all, our club is a uh, is a privatized club, which is uh, is making you know it's making it's going somewhere and. For the fans out there, the one who are not supporting Singapore football and keep on saying that uh, it's not going somewhere, but you can see the standard in you. They should watch the life of yeah, the yeah. life. Yeah, they can say on uh, on social media the comment, you know, waste of time and all. They should try to play in the league and see how hard, how hard and difficult it is. You know, training, training sometimes training twice a day, training twice a day and trying to prove that trying to prove the Singaporeans that we are going somewhere at the end of the day. Yep, uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it for me uh, to you. Thank you so much yeah. for playing for the Sailors. Um, I'm very thankful to have you being part of the Sailors uh, team and I just want to congratulate you, uh, congratulate you on that huge victory indeed. Uh, we hope to see you on the next game. Yep. And hopefully, have you, you haven't scored a single goal no, yet, right? No. Yeah, I w we were hoping that you scored <laughs> on that first half chance. But it's okay. I think that gives you a confidence that you can try again, right? Most importantly is the team. Three points for the team. The, what, the, the small, you know, contribution, defending. You, they won't see that I'm, contrib I'm contributing, but for me, I am for the team. Which you, you, uh, actually, yeah. you actually are. Yeah. It is no surprise. We have see, we seen you for the three games. You have contributed so much and we are very proud of you. We hope to see you improving more and more yeah. and become one of the force to be reckoned with for the future of Singapore. Thank so, you so thank much. You so much. Thank uh, you. We'll see you yep. in the next uh, game. Yeah. All right, guys. That is it for today's episode of Lion City Sailors Adventure Vlogs. Man, that was an exciting game indeed. And we managed to uh, hit up with the Stags, the Yellow Knights. You know, they may have lost the game, but they're still optimistic about 
their club and you know what I have huge respect for them uh, respects I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about but yeah and the game is wild indeed five goals you know we won we won four goals to one a good redemption indeed against the stacks who have beaten us 4-0 on our first game away eh not away my bad uh, in our first game against them sorry yeah first game against them we lost 4-0 at the, our Tampanese hub but today is a redemption day 1-4-1 I'll happily take it so yeah what a victory indeed guys Ooh. What a day to remember and what an episode to remember guys And you know what This is just the beginning guys This is just the beginning And I hope that I can go on the next game Where I think we're going to play against Tanjung Paga United and I'm, and I'm excited for that man Looking forward to go, go there If I can go, more vlogs coming in New episode coming out very soon But yeah, I have lots of things that I'm excited about man This is why I love local football I think I'm labouring a lot But all I can say is This episode marks the fact that we actually do support local football there may not be a lot of us but there's still some of us and yeah shout outs to the yellow knights for supporting tampanese rovers huge respects for them as always um shout outs once again to sg football podcast for the vlog and the fan cams Hope to see them very soon once again And then um, shout outs to the crew For coming down And become the voices Of the Sailors fans And the guys like Ethan, Eddie, Wen Ching They deserve the recognition more than I do So yeah So um, once again Thank you everyone for tuning in to this episode Like and subscribe for more Comment down below anything Anything you want me to improve on I'll, I'll happily improve it And yeah in the meantime uh, once again, like and subscribe for more. Um, check out uh, the Yellow Knights on their Instagram. Link in the description also. Um, also the SG Football Podcast. And the crew also on Instagram. And yeah, in the meantime, I'll see you guys next time.